because I believe the days are so desperate in America, we may not have a long-term future. Oh, the stars and stripes will still fly in the flagpoles. The, 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 the country will still be called the United States of America, perhaps. We still may have some of the, the, the tapestry and the facade of, of what our country was. But the substance will be gone. The heart will be gone, which means the liberty, the freedoms. You see, once we lose our, our national sovereignty and independence, once that leaves, there is no freedom. There's no liberty. How many more elections will there be in the 21st century? President Bush, after 9-11, signed several ominous executive orders. By the way, one of the things I would do if I became president, I would ask for a list of all the executive orders that President Bush, President Clinton, and President Bush the first has enacted, and I would begin at the top, and I would go down point by point, and I would undo those executive orders. Amen. He enacted an executive order that on his signature, on his signature, would in effect issue martial law in the country. On his signature, elections could be suspended. On his signature, the fundamental freedoms that we know as the Bill of Rights would disappear. On his signature, we would be living in a totalitarian state. That executive order has already been signed by this president. What are the events to be that could precipitate such a decision. In the first place, my question is, why would a man who is sworn to protect and preserve the Constitution, who says he believes in liberty and freedom, why would he issue such an executive, executive order to, to begin with if he wasn't planning on using it at some point? He would. So what are the events? What happens? if another 9-11 style attack would occur in America? What would happen if some of these uh, terrorists who have snuck across the border, who that we already suspect are in our country, they've had free access across the border. Are we so foolish and naive to think that we don't have terrorists already living among us who have come across the border freely, unrestricted? What would they do? Would it be a suitcase nuclear bomb in downtown Manhattan? What would be the event that would trigger such an executive order being signed? I don't know the answer to that question. I am not God to know the future. All I'm saying is we have seen what has happened in our country since 9-11-2001. We have seen posse comitatus stripped from our laws. We've seen the Fourth Amendment liberties stripped from our Constitution. We have seen the advent of a uh, police state style federal police agency that are able to read our emails, read, uh, read our, our mails, uh, invade our homes, able to come into our, our homes, take our computers, ransack our homes, at will, take anything of our personal property out of our homes without a court order, without court oversight. The local police won't even know that they did it. You come home one day, you think that it was a burglar that went into your house. You think that all this was a burglar. You report it to the local police. They're looking for a, a local burglar at all the time. It was a federal policeman that came in and did it and nobody knew about it. That is already the law of our country. That's what the Patriot Act gives the authority of our federal police to do. I know this sounds Orwellian, but these are the kind of things that have happened since September 11, 2001. So what would happen after the next terrorist attack? 
how much liberty would we have left? So when you ask me, what are we to do long term, I don't know that I have the answer. Boast not thyself of tomorrow, thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Amen. All I know is that we have today. And all I know is that we have a duty to do today. And I'm trying to do my duty today. And if, if I am not sitting in the White House in January of 2009, I will seek to do my duty, whatever it may be, at that time. But to answer your question today and say, what is our long-term plan? I can't say that I have one. I'm just trying to fight the enemy, and the enemy is at the gates.